Hello everyone, this is Rares, and today I'm going to be doing a what's in my purse. But first, I'm going to go over my makeup. So, I am not wearing any under eyeliner or coal liner. I usually use black, but I can't find it, so I did something a little different with my makeup. And hopefully, when I look into my purse, I will find it. I don't know where it is. I'm hoping it's in my purse, but if not, I will have to look other places. <clears throat> and I'm also using a different lipstick than I normally use. It's from Love and Beauty from Forever 21. And I got this from a friend, uh, Monique, which is the Big Girl Diary on YouTube. So she sent me this in a swap. I really like the gold packaging. Um, my only concern is that it's made in China. But other than that, um, it's nice. It's it was like only a dollar or something. Like that's how much their lipsticks run for. And this it's this pink color here. So that's really pretty. And I'm thankful she sent me this so I could try the lipstick. Alright. <clears throat> so yes. Um, lately I've been using a MAC uh, eyeliner. But uh, I don't know where it is. Um, so I have to look for it. And I'm trying to finish that MAC eyeliner, and afterwards I'm going to get a different eyeliner, so. Anyways, this is my purse, and this is a Juicy Couture Velour Mini Purse, and I got this online from eBay. I believe I spent around $30 because nobody placed a bid on it, so <clears throat> it's a tan purse, and it's a Velour Mini with the Scotty Terriers on it. Most people go for the black one, um, or the gray one, um, I don't know, I just went for this because it was cheaper, so, yeah, <clears throat> and it also has the little charm on it, right there, and it's nice because it's like a brown color charm, hopefully you can see the true colors, but yeah, I really like this purse because it's small so everything's contained not like a huge purse where you have to dig your hand in there and take a while to look for something um it has two handles and then it has a long strap and then bows on the sides i really like these purses because i think they have personality to them so i hope they never stop making these <clears throat> okay so i have my work card my tag in here. I'm going to take everything out one by one. I have some study cards because I'm trying to study for an exam. I have an energy boost thing that I got from Influencer, I think. Or no, no, no. I got this sent in the mail to me by some independent company. Um, but I haven't tried it yet. And I have some Bidoyecta Max, which is like um, another energy booster with vitamins. I have a pair of socks, and these socks were sent to me by my friend Aaliyah. So she sent me these I Love Me socks in a swap. And I always carry these socks with me in case I go to the store and I see some shoes that I might want to buy. They come in handy for that. Um, so I keep them in my purse for when I try on shoes at the mall. That's just a little shopaholic tip for you shopaholics. And I have a sunglasses case here that I got from Forever 21 to hold my sunglasses. And my sunglasses, I get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar so that I don't get... Um, Frustrated if they get lost or broken because they were only a dollar. You can simply replace a dollar. So they're not bad looking. So I always just keep them in this case. Um, and I have a sticker on it that I got from a watermelon. Um, I don't know why. I just... There was a sticker of this boy on the watermelon. And I don't think he's a boy. He seems kind of big. Some guy named Luke Brown. And... He is like a representative of the watermelons, and I tried adding him on Facebook, and he doesn't add people, 
So why the heck, or why the heck are you like putting your email and all that on the watermelons when you don't add anybody? I don't understand because I bought one of your watermelons and you're like not cool because you didn't add me. So if you look brown, it's because I was a fan and you didn't want to add me. Anyways, <laughs> psycho. Anyways, um, I also have some coupons for a drive-in place. Which are expired, so yeah. I went to the rodeo, and um, in the book they had these coupons, but they're already expired. So I'm gonna throw them out. I don't need that in my purse. And then here is a receipt, an old receipt for po postage stamps. That's a good thing about doing these purse videos is like you end up cleaning your purse <laughs> while you do these. Okay, so I got some type of perfume sample from Dillard's. It smells good, but I have no idea what the name of this perfume was. So that's going in the trash. Here's another one called Ferragamo. It smells good, but... um. Trash. I don't know what the name of that one was. Found some more cards that go to my pack here. Okay, another receipt. And this is from the time I bought Milani lipsticks. So I'm going to throw this away. The coupon on the back of that was expired. So I'm throwing it away. My wallet, which I got from... Nordstrom and I believe it was very affordable. It was probably around Maybe around 10 bucks or something and I like it because it feels like it's real leather it Doesn't smell like it, but it feels like it and I just like the quality of this wallet So and it just like you twist it here and you open it like that wait You open it like that and has like a lot of pockets. I don't want to show my information So anyways, um, yeah, it's a nice wallet um from Nordstrom it's no, it doesn't have a name brand or anything and I couldn't find a matching wallet to this so that's why I got that one um well I already had it so I just you know used it and somebody or actually the bank gave me this little packet here the first community bank little pouch so I have like my coins and some cash in here and then my Macy's uh, gift card. I still have some money on it. So I'm keeping it for now. Some gum. This gum is Dentine Ice. It's one of the packets. So I like Dentine Ice. I think that one is Winter Chill. I have my phone case. Another perfume sample. Another perfume sample. A lot of shopping cards. Whoa. Like Jamba Juice, but I don't go here. I think I got this one for my boyfriend. He gave it to me. Hot Topic. Uh, Pet Smart. The Movies. And that's about it, I believe. Some kind of coupon card, but I don't know if it's applicable. Some weird stuff in my purse. That's all I know. Amazon store card. For Amazon. Amazon. Maybe you ought to send me some stuff. Eh. For free. For advertising for you. And then I got a Big Lots rewards card. Which I don't go there too often. I have I have a damn I didn't use this one I'm all mad a body cream well five dollar body cream it's not free so I guess I'm not that mad a signature collection body cream for five dollars coupon didn't get to use that but it's okay I used my freebie one um 
my passport. And this passport is good until... Let's see. It's good until... 2019. So that's good. If I travel, I have it. My Yonique 3D Fiber Lashes in the case. And today I used a lot of eyeliner. Like too much. So I didn't think it was going to make a difference to use this. So I just didn't use it today. I skipped on it because my eyeliner went psycho. The e.l.f. eyeliner, which I don't recommend. Don't use that one. <clears throat> Unless you're just learning. But yeah, my unique fiber, 3D fiber lashes. I'm a distributor and the website is below if you're interested. So coupons for food. Uh, another receipt. Something just flew down there. <laughs> Anyways, another receipt, and this was for... Oh, it's a coupon code for Panda Express. I did the survey, and I wrote my coupon code down. But I don't know if they'll still take it, because it's been a while since I've been there. Okay, um, scrunchie, which is not mine. It's someone else. Um, a lip gloss case. <clears throat> These used to be real popular. I don't know why they're not really popular right now. As much as, you know, how... As much as people are so into lipsticks and makeup and stuff, I hardly ever see anybody talk about, like, lipstick cases. And so I got this lipstick case from Charming Charlie. I used to have one practically exactly like this a lot from a long time ago that I got from Limited 2. If y'all remember, Limited 2 was really popular. I just have a chapstick in here. So these are really nice. My Hello Kitty mirror. And I've had this mirror for a long time. It's just a mirror with a comb. Don't really comb my hair with it, but I really like the mirror because it's huge. And Hello Kitty. Okay. I have like a pin in here. Like a quality pin. Hard pin. And my transcripts for college. <laughs> which I'm not going to show. But I'll just show you that it was an official transcript. I already opened it because I had to show it to some people. Um, yeah. I'm just going to show you that it was... An official transcript. <laughs> it's it's long. Like some people were like, "What the hell?" Like when they were like people at the school when they were looking at it. One, two, three, four. My transcript is four pages long, and. Yeah, I've taken a lot of classes, so that's why it's really long. <clears throat> and then coupons for stripes, which have expired already, so I'm throwing those out. Okay, so I have like a lot of little dust in here that like, not crumbs, but dust. So I need to take this stuff out. I have some rubber bands and a wrapper. So that's what I like about a small purse. It kind of keeps you from stuffing it with a lot of things inside. I have a key here and it's an important key that I use for work. So <sighs> that's all I have in here. And then the Juicy Couture tag. Right there. Juicy Couture, Los Angeles, California. But Juicy Couture works overseas. Meaning that their company puts together the bags overseas in China. Because this one says made in China. So I don't know. I'm debating like to stop buying things that are made overseas. Just because I saw this documentary by Michael Moore called, um, 
the big one. I think it's called the big one. Where the companies um, in the 80s, during the 80s, the companies, they just like uprooted themselves from cities like Flint um, <clears throat> and other cities around America and they just like instead of giving the Americans jobs they went across seas and gave you know internationals a lot of jobs and while the cities here they started getting deeper into poverty and more crime so I don't know about these companies doing things like that I don't know if it'll make a difference to just shop for American products, I really, I really don't know, but I do know that I like Juicy Couture, and I just don't want to be a part of people losing their jobs, type of thing. Anyways, all that already happened, so it's not like, not like what I do now is gonna make, it's gonna uproot the companies to bring it back. So, <laughs> but there are some companies that are just based in America, made by Americans. So, I don't know. I'm just been thinking so anyways uh that's enough of that um i have a receipt here from walmart and it's basically from when i bought my blushes and my lipsticks but we're gonna hide the evidence in the trash but well, not in the trash but in the recycle so <clears throat> so yeah that's all that was in my purse i did not find my black eyeliner so i need to I don't know. I guess I need to go check in the car because I don't know where it is. Check in my room or something. So <clears throat> that was my purse. Thank you all for joining me. And it's cool because now I can clean out my bag. Let me show you all the original price. I would never pay this price for this purse. I just wouldn't. It's The original price was $129.99. From Juicy Couture. Can you believe that? I just keep this just to be like, wow, I like got a bargain. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I like to keep the tag on it because it's like an original. And what if I want to sell it, resell it or something? So, anyways, um, yeah, that was my purse clean out or whatever. What's in my purse? And I never found my eyeliner. <laughs> so, I didn't get to find it. Um, so anyways, thank you for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.